Hey folks, welcome back. So the first thing that I want to work on today is I want to get this wood stove out of the way because as you recall, we got it up here into the loft area just inside the loading doors. I was trying to move it and these casters kind of weren't quite up to the job of the amount of weight that this thing has. So today I brought out the moving dolly, which you kind of can see over there. Hopefully that is going to have our uh, sufficient weight rating to get this stove moved out of the way because I brought some other stuff out with me today that I want to get moved up here as well. And we can't very well move that up here when this is sitting in the way. All right, so now that we got the stove out of the way, we're actually gonna work on one more little quick project because we got a little bit of rain coming down outside right now. So I'm gonna hold off on kind of moving some stuff around outside to get moved up here. And so what we're gonna work on here for just a little bit is, as you recall, we moved this little old table saw, tilt top table saw up here, oh, probably a month or two ago and it's got a few little issues with it. I think we might be able to repair the problems. We're gonna give it a try anyways because this thing is pretty old and the odds of being able to find some replacement parts for that are, well, pretty slim, I'm gonna guess. So we're just gonna try seeing if we can fix it as is. If not, we aren't really out anything and if we do, well, we'll have a working table saw to use. All right, so that's gonna be all that we can do for now with our little table saw. We gotta wait for some epoxy to set up on that. And I think it's like a 24 hour-ish cure time on that. So we won't be able to do anything more with that till tomorrow. So now the rain, at least for the moment, isn't coming down. So I brought some plywood and stuff out in the truck. I'd had that stored elsewhere. And we're gonna move that up here because we're gonna want some of that for a upcoming project. got all this stacked up over here so that way it's somewhat accessible and organized now I did leave out one full sheet of three-quarter inch plywood because hopefully we'll be using that for something here this week now next up we're gonna head up to the old tobacco barn just on the other side of the creek and I have some stuff stored up there I've got I think I've got some more plywood and stuff and I also have some like two by fours that are, you know, from Home Depot or wherever that are not really two inch by four inch, but you know, they are the real deal. But I want to take a look, see what all I've got up there. And I may want to bring some of that stuff down here as well. All this stuff kind of sorted out here by length. I forgot to take my tape measure up when I got this stuff, so I have since discovered that I'm short a couple of boards at certain lengths or minimum lengths that I need. So we're gonna run back up there real quick. I've got my 
tape measure with me this time, so hopefully uh, we'll get everything we need. Okay, well, I brought down a good bit more stuff than what I actually need at the moment, but I figured seeing as I was digging through the pile of stuff up there, I might as well go ahead and grab some stuff that I figured I'd probably need sometime in the near future, and go ahead and bring that down while I'm at it. Alright, so first thing today, I want to get all this stuff here that we moved up last thing last night when we were out here, get this moved over and put it over with our other stack of plywood and stuff like that. That way we have a little bit more room to kind of work around here down near the loading door. Alright, so with that stuff all moved out of the way over there, we are ready to start work on a little project here. And this project is some workbenches. Because while we kind of got some floor space up here, we don't really have a whole lot of space that's kind of at a good level to be working at. I mean, I've got a piece of plywood on some sawhorses and it works, but it's not real solid. It's not something good to work at. And with, you know, some projects like trying to get these windows done now that we got our panes, uh, you know, having a good solid surface to work on and kind of refinish the frames. Uh, we got to put the panes in, put in the, I think they're called glazing points and the glazing and stuff like that. It's really going to be good to have kind of a workbench to work at. So that's what we're going to start working on now. folks last day for this week it's gonna be a really short day because I've got some other stuff I gotta do uh, later so the thing that I'm wanting to get done this afternoon is see if we can finish doing our uh, MacGyver fix on our table saw tilt top table saw over here uh, get that ready to go put a little more epoxy on there and see if we can't get that setting up and then hopefully it'll be fixed ish maybe so anyway let's get going on that and see what we can do <laughs>
All right, so that didn't go quite as planned. Uh, the epoxy that I'm using is supposed to be for like all metals, you know, it holds just fine theoretically. Uh, and what I'm doing is the part that's broken on here is kind of where the pivot is for this tilt top. The pivot pin is still on the saw, but the hole that it goes into is not there anymore. So what I'm trying to do is hook a bolt onto there, actually epoxy a nut onto the existing part. Now I can put a bolt in there, so that'll give me some adjustment height. And then I'll put a, another nut that's been drilled out on top of that to act as the hole for the, the pivot. So the last epoxy that I put on there was hooking the nut to the existing part, and that is a, a lock nut. So it's got like a, a nylon part in there that makes it hard to turn. And I was trying to turn the bolt into it, and my best guess is that the amount of force to turn into this lock nut was more than what the epoxy was rated for. I tried to set it about where I wanted it at. I re-epoxied it on there. We're gonna give this another go. Obviously that'll be next week because this has to set for at least 24 hours to harden. Now, for our workbenches here, you've probably noticed that we've got these uh, two by fours sticking up on the back here. And as you might have guessed, what I'm planning on doing is getting some pegboard and hooking that to there, and then we can hang some stuff on the backs of these workbenches. I'm gonna have to pick up the pegboard next week because I don't have any of that on hand. So hopefully next week we'll be able to finish off uh, these workbenches, get them in place, and get some stuff on them and sort of organized. And then of course also try and do some work on the table saw, see if we can get that to, uh, to work this time. I'm also going to contact our uh, log guy, see how things are going over there, uh, if he has any idea of when we might be able to get those. So anywho, that's gonna be it for this week. As always, I appreciate you guys watching and I will see you next time.